Okay, we have another question here, Renee, and this is going to deal with why can't you tell me immediately whether I have a medical malpractice case or a birth injury case? Why can't you tell me that immediately over the phone? Well, those questions require a an expert to go on record. So in order, in order to get to that point where you have an expert to say yay or nay, you got to you have to kind of go through the process first you have to get the records you have to have the records reviewed you have to have the records reviewed by an expert and then the expert will form an opinion that that can say de definitively yeah you have a case or no you do not have a case so it's it's not a question of uh here let me give you these this brief set of facts and you tell me whether or not i'm good to go or not because that's not enough you, you need more information than that to be able to definitively definitively say whether or not you have a case and I think that that is something that is that that a lot of times is, is lost in the public and that is because of the nature of medical malpractice cases uh, you know we have to be able to use as you said medical experts they have to give opinions as to the standard of care they have to give opinions as to whether there was a deviation from that standard of care which then cause the injury and so that's going to be something that we're not going to be able to tell you immediately in many instances now if you've got a situation in which you go in and the doctor is supposed to be working on one side of the body and they're on the other side or they cut off the wrong leg or things of that nature you may be in a different situation there but for the vast majority of cases would you agree that the calls that we get they're not going to be that clear cut in regards to what's going on. Yeah, but most most things in birth injury and medical malpractice aren't black and white. There's a lot of gray area to get through. Mm -hmm. And we've already talked about, um, you know, also causation and things like that. So I just wanted to make sure that that question, that's something that comes up and that's something that, you know, sometimes people, they don't have a good grasp of that issue. Anything else before we leave this topic as it pertains to doing an investigation and things like that? You know what? It, I'm glad you brought that up because something kind of reminded me of something to tell the people. Um, we've gotten a call recently from a, a family that wanted a review of, of their matter. Um, I asked if they had the records. They said they did not. They actually, the records were with another firm. So I said, well, when you, when you sever ties with that firm, um, you get your records and get your file back from them and then give me a call. We can make arrangements to discuss your your matter at that point. Well, um, the, the one of the family members gave me a call and said they couldn't get their records back from uh, the other firm because they had a, a, the other firm wanted to charge them to review the records. So uh, I, I just want to let everybody know that before you schedule your first interaction with an attorney or with a law firm, you ask a question of how much will this cost? There are some attorneys and so, some law firms out there that will actually charge a fee in order to uh, preliminarily review your records or to get any reports done or to initially bring your records to uh, an expert for initial review. So just, just kind of get some clarification on that, whether or not that the attorney or the firm that you're speaking with is going to charge you or not. And if they're going to charge you, how much they're going to charge you. So that way you have an understanding of, you know, what can you do once you get to that point, whether it, 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 they, if they decline your case for whatever reason or if they need X amount before going forward on your case. So that way you'll have an understanding of what you need to do to be prepared. Yeah, and that's a good follow-up. Just got to make sure that you ask the questions and that you understand. Like you said, sometimes other firms are going to charge for certain things. For us, in general, we are not going to charge to do an initial investigation of a case. I mean, that's just kind of how we have everything set up. But we are not everybody, so you just want to make sure that you have your answers and you understand before moving forward. All right, that's going to be it for this section. I am Marcus Boston. And I'm Renee Boston. And we are birth trauma and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law in the state of Maryland. Until next time, bye-bye.